Well, he's for the first time he's been applauded by the community that he's been so good too. You know, he's won the Pulitzer, he's won the Tony now. For a long time, everybody just took it for granted that that Neil Simon would just write another hit it's, play. It's it's not fair. I remember that I wrote him a letter the night I saw it. I, I stayed up till three in the morning and I sat down and. I just poured out my soul as to all the feelings I had after seeing Lost in Yonkers, and then I said, and Neil, this one is it. You uh, wait and see. This one is it. Because for years, he'd say, oh, they don't care. They're not going to ever give me anything for that. And sure enough, Pulitzer, the Tony. Uh, and, you, and you know it was the one for you as well, right? The well, role. I never knew I was going to play it. I, I didn't approach it that way. When I was asked to do it, I was supposed to be at Rainbow and Stars this month, going back, doing my nightclub act. This was the pinnacle of nightclub performing, just as you work your way up the ladder to nightclubs. It's a good thing I'm not, huh? They're <laughs> striking over there now. Yes. Um, and um, it came at a time where I thought, oh, I, gee, do I want to do this? And then I thought about it for about two more seconds, and I went, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you signed I a six-month contract? I signed a, yes, a minimum six-month contract, and uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, if the play is going as well as it is right now, I'll, I'll be there maybe a little longer. We'll, we'll see. I, I'm having the best time of my life. It's the best work, most challenging work as an actress I've ever done. You named your first son after Neil Simon. I did. Yeah. Simon Luckenbill and Neil Simon, when I told him I was going to name my firstborn child after him, if it was a boy, he said, Simon Luckenbill. Sounds like a Nazi chaser. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a that TV show up, That's going to show up in another play I'm pretty sure. Soon. We're going to come back in a moment with more with Lucy Arnaz. Tomorrow on Live from... Champagne. <laughs> Now you've got three children of your own. Yes, Any I of them do. inclined towards show business? You know, the cutest thing happened. I, I did a reading for a new Hal Prince play. They have these readings to see if, you know, people want like to get Well, it thing? wasn't. No, it was the most amazing thing. A quick story. He was just going to, Hal Prince is Hal Prince. He can yeah. decide, I don't want to do it. And uh, he put all of his people together, the costume and the thing. Anyway, and I was playing the, the wicked, awful queen, and it was fabulous music. And I brought my little son, Joe, my middle son, with me to, to rehearsal one day just because I, I had a doctor's appointment with him. I didn't want to leave him at home. And at the end of the thing, they said, we have a part for the a little tiny, for the little boy, and we weren't going to hire anybody to do that, but do you think your son could sing? What did you I do? I thought, this is a lifetime decision. I could change his life here. I said, ask him! <laughs> there he is. He right. did. Yeah, he and he and learned the part, and he sang in Latin in front of Hal Prince. I was so proud. Isn't Latin? that incredible? Yes, he learned it. He sang on perfect pitch, and he was, I was so proud. I couldn't even look at him while he, st he stood up during the reading, and he did his part. And my husband Larry was in the group, and I listened to him, and he finished, and I had to go on with my line, and I just went on with oh, the tears rolling down my face. So he was great. He was great. So I won't let him in this it. business, no matter what he says. Really? <laughs> no, no. I, I you Your know, mom let you. No, and I'm just kidding. You don't. You never know. I mean, uh, I don't know. But the point of the story is that you don't know the talent your children have. Who knows? How if old it's is what he? they love. He's only nine. But you must have seen something before this. No, no. Not at, all. Blows. Really? Not at all. Not at all. I didn't even know he could hold a tune. I literally I said, ask him. I don't know if he has perfect pitch or not. I, he might not be able to sing, but he was quite good. Future star. You never know. Like. A third generation. It's, that would be lovely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. My kids, okay, they're playing softball. You know. They're going to camp this summer while you're working on the gads. First time. First time my kids are off to camp this year. My daughter for two weeks and my, my son's for four. And I don't know. I, I hope they like it. I, Mixed emotions. Did you ever part? go to camp? I hated camp. See? I was kicked out of the brownies, though, so I'm a bad Did you stay, camp. though? Did you it stay? It was day camp, and I couldn't wait to get home. Were and my you? mother was even a counselor there. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. <laughs> well, that may have had a lot to do with oh, it. No, you know, I adore my mother, and she was more fun than the other counselors, but I don't like organized things. I like to do my own thing. Yeah, well, we were sent to... Camp Edie Herb up in the, the Catskills. <laughs> Camp, Camp, Camp Edie Herb. Herb. <laughs> that must be the, the, the wife and the husband that it ran was. the place. It was Camp Edie Herb. <laughs> uh, it was up in the Catskills. A frightening story is Edie. about to unfold. Hi, no, Herb. I stayed. I wasn't. I didn't even stay the night. Yeah. No, I called her. She got. They just had gotten home from driving me there, and I called in tears, and I because I found out that the lake was cold. Oh. oh. It yeah. wasn't heated. Yeah. Yeah. And I went no 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 no. Wasn't a heated Excuse lake. Excuse me. <laughs> no rugs and a not it's not heated. I want out of here. Like in Beverly Hills. Take me home. Oh, that's, that's right. Funny. I did not like that. And so, and so you checked right out. You checked in. I you went, checked she right came out. back and got me. She said she wouldn't, but I cried very loud. What a mother. Let's show and the there picture. there she is now. See? It's fun to go back sometime. Aww. We all miss her. No, nowhere near what you do. He looks pretty cute, too. He is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's always fun to have you here, Lucy. Wish Thanks. the best on Broadway. Have a great summer. Move into that house of yours. Someday. I won't have your son on. We just booked your son. Ah! Next up is Madcap Mutt from Will Rogers' father.
And still ahead on live, Claudia Cohen talks with...